What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about something that got leaked in the ESO Tavern uh, recently. I'm sure a lot of you have probably already heard about this, but in case you have not, uh, the ESO Tavern is kind of an event that's hosted. And you know, the dev team kind of talks about some of the stuff that's going on this year it was hosted in Germany. And of course, they talked about, you know, a lot of different stuff just involving what's going on inside of the Elder Scrolls Online. But during this event, one of the uh, developers accidentally kind of gave a little bit more information about what exactly we can expect with that endless dungeon in quarter four. Now, it wasn't a ton of info, but we have heard about this endless dungeon. And we we're kind of curious exactly what it's going to be because we heard it's going to be a two kind of a two player experience. Uh, or uh, something you can do with you and a companion. And during you know some of the interviews with the lead encounter designer, they accidentally revealed that the Endless Dungeon's name is going to be Endless Archive. And they also revealed there will be a new type of like armor sets that are available in Endless Archive that will be class-specific sets. Not really any more than that because it was an accident and it was leaked. So they kind of you know just quit talking about it, but. Some new armor types was really the most interesting thing about this because I think a lot of people are kind of skeptical, I guess, about this only being a two-player activity considering it's an endless dungeon. I think there's a lot of players in ESO that play solo, but there's also a lot of players in ESO that like to play, you know, maybe with more than two people. And I know, you know, if you're a person who wants to play with four or more, there are things like dungeons and things like trials. But at the same time, I think a lot of people are a little bit kind of interested and also worried at the same time exactly what this endless dungeon will be but the most interesting thing out of all of this to me is those class specific sets i would really like to see how this is going to work if it's going to be something that buffs you know to certain skills if it's going to be something that buffs the entire class itself so you know whether you're playing a sorcerer or you know the new arcanist class necro DK and so on, will it buff the entire class or will it be something that is buffs particular, uh, you know, certain abilities that you can use within those classes? Overall, I think adding class specific sets to ESO would be something pretty interesting, you know, that other games have, whether it be uh, RPG games, MMO games. But at the same time, this is something that definitely could build on going forward because that would kind of get away from. I guess all the sets we have in game that are useless. So we, we know there's tons of sets in ESO that a lot of people just do not use. There's tons of sets that have been there forever that you can craft or that you can go out in the open world and get that nobody really uses at all. And having class uh, specific sets would be something that I think a lot of people would be interested in as long as the benefits of wearing them is actually worth it. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this endless dungeon and kind of what your thoughts on it can be or what you would like to see it kind of be in the end when it is released in quarter four and would you like to see more of these you know class specific sets being added to game and how would you like them to work would you want it to be something that's just certain you know skills work with this kind of like we have with arena weapons or would you like it to be something more of where it buffs the entire class as a whole of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace